Hello, my name is Monique and I am the customer service manager here at pillows.com. Um, today we're going to show you how to properly fluff a pillow. Now, common reason would be to either breathe life into an old pillow or sometimes the manufacturers send them to us compressed for shipping purposes. Um, so if that's the case, it's very easy to get your pillow to fluff back up. Um, so we have this one here, you can see it looks flat, um, you take it out of the box and you think you got the wrong item or it's not going to work for you when in reality all you have to do is just work a little air into it and it should puff right back up. So what I recommend would be to take it out of the package grab both sides and just work the air into it. The little down clusters are natural insulators, so they hold a lot of air. If you get the air redistributed back into them, they will puff up, they will be lofty and full, and your pillow will be as plush as you had thought when you purchased it or when you first got it if you need to refluff the pillow this is a great way to do it so basically you just work air into it there's no right or wrong way now as you can see it's starting to puff up quite a bit you could also do the same thing with um, a couple of clean tennis balls or a tennis shoe in a dryer on the lowest setting or like an air fluff and that'll also help to breathe new life into the pillow. So now that you've worked some air into it, um, it's quite a bit loftier and fluffier than it was when you took it out of the package. Um, if you allow it to sit out of the plastic, um, it'll also puff up rather nicely. Feather and down, it needs to breathe. It's a natural product. So as long as you allow that airflow, it should puff up on its own as well. So there you go. Turn the flat into a big, lofty, fluffy pillow.